to accomplish coagulation, we need a system with at least three components. These key components are a reaction chamber, a place where the coagulation process can actually be performed. Secondly, we need a mixing system so that the incoming raw water can be thoroughly mixed with our primary coagulant. And finally, we need a chemical feeder that is capable of accurately dispensing precisely the amount of chemical that we need to accomplish coagulation. The reaction chamber is required because time is necessary to conduct any chemical reaction. The time required is not extreme in the case of coagulation. In fact, we need a very short period of time for charge neutralization coagulation. That time is only about one second. That is the length of time that our primary coagulants, the alum or the aluminum or the ferric or iron ions will last in the water. And we need those charges to be disseminated immediately into the raw water. With this small reaction time, all we really need in most cases is a section of pipe where we can accomplish charge neutralization. For the second form of coagulation, sweep coagulation, we also don't need very much of a volume in our reaction chamber because we only need about one minute to fully process coagulation. It doesn't require the instantaneous mixing that charge neutralization does, but this is also a fast process, so we will use a small basin for this, like a small mixing chamber. The mixing system has the responsibility of distributing our chemical very quickly. In the case of charge neutralization, this has to be less than one second. So we have a significant mechanical challenge on our hands here to effectively distribute all of our primary coagulant within a one second period and have our coagulant come into complete contact with all of the raw water entering our treatment plant. One system to accomplish this effective mixing is called pumped injection. In pumped injection, our reaction chamber is a short section of pipe in our raw water line. In this diagram, we see the flow of the raw water entering on the left and exiting on the right. And in pumped injection, we will intercept a small amount of this incoming raw water, perhaps 5% of the total flow, and run it through a pump and direct it backwards into the main flow line into our pipe section. It will exit through a spray nozzle, uh, similar to a fire nozzle, which will blast that 5% of the water counter current directly into all of the flow that is entering the treatment plant. If we are to add our primary coagulant right at the opening of this nozzle, we will be able to effectively distribute that primary coagulant throughout all of the flow coming into the treatment plant in this section of pipe. So that is the pumped injection system of mixing. To add our primary coagulant to the water, we need a chemical feeder. The typical chemical feeder used for primary coagulants is a positive displacement pump. The reason we choose positive displacement pumps is because they have very accurate delivery rates, very precise delivery rates, and they can be controlled over a wide range of flows. That means that we can deliver exactly the number of positive charges in charge neutralization uh, that we need from our primary coagulant to offset or neutralize the negative charges on the surfaces of the colloidal materials coming into our treatment plant.